This Sunday will mark seven months since the fiery train derailment here in East Palestine. And now some neighbors are growing concerned that construction in the city park could show that there is still contamination in the soil here. This video from Rick Chai is in Leslie Run, appearing to show some kind of substance getting from the soil into the water below. We're poking in the sidewalls and chemicals are just just oozing out some of the worst we've seen in six months. Chai and Randy DeHaven live in the area. They say they've been out regularly since the derailment, searching for signs of chemicals in local creeks. Here at the city park, crews are rebuilding the bridge that spans Leslie Run at the park's main entrance. The project is unrelated to the derailment, and the old bridge has since been demolished. But Chai says as crews dug a piece of the ground up, he and DeHaven are worried about what else is out there. It is not just by sheer luck that they took one shovelful and quit and found a whole bunch of chemicals. I propose that if they took a, a shovelful anywhere along these miles of banks, they would find these chemicals, and that's what the frightening thing is to us residents. The Ohio Department of Transportation is involved in the bridge project administration because federal funding is involved. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reached out asking if they've seen chemical issues here. The state DOT says in a statement in part, quote, since this was first brought to our attention in early August, we have been working with all applicable state and federal agencies and the village's contractor to ensure any debris from the project complies with all regulations and permits. Meantime, an update from the EPA late last week says water sampling in Leslie Run is continuing. Sediment testing has been completed and that will be used to assess the impact from the derailment on these streams. Reporting in East Palestine, Ohio, Tom Garris, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.